found the pages and the map chamber. Why would I need the book? How nice to see you, my young friend. I'm back at Hogwarts. I wonder when Professor Fig will be back. I did promise him I wouldn't neglect my studies while he was away. Suppose I have enough to distract myself with till he returns with the book. adversaries away. Complete the required tasks and meet me in my classroom. You can't imagine how inconvenient travel was before I invented flu powder.
if that room was straight in your own behalf. Revelio. Incendio. Incendio. Revelio.
Revelio. Off on another adventure, are we? Revelio. Right, look like you've seen a ghost. If only. You are sneaking past me I know. and taking dangerous. I mean, shut up. Enough! Here, perhaps you'll find sweeping the courtyard more productive. What, me? Use a broom, not to fly? That is what I said, and let this be a lesson to all of you. Off limits means off limits. Revelio. Revelio. Lumos.
Lumos. Revelio. It's me, Gareth. Do you have a moment? Were you calling me, Gareth? I was. After you helped me with that fupa feather and potions, I reckoned you might be just the person I need. You see, I have an idea for a fizzing, Wisby-inspired beverage, but I'm missing a key ingredient. <laughs> you and your concoctions. I don't know how you come up with these things. It's a gift, truly. So. I suspect the key ingredient in fizzing Wisbys is dried billywig stings. I heard there's a store of them in Honeyduke's cellar. I'd get them myself, but my Aunt Matilda has her eye on me. Thinks I need to focus on potions class for a while, not for my own bruise. I was hoping you could follow a secret passage to Honeyduke's cellar and grab a few dried billywig stings for me. Of course. You never know when you might need a quick means of escape from the castle. Brilliant, thank you. But you should know that it's not exactly quick. It's the secret bit that's helpful. The passage is hidden behind the statue of a one-eyed witch in the third floor corridor. Just tap it with your wand and say, Descendium. Couldn't you have someone buy the dried billywigs things? They're not for sale, and you never know when the cellar's going to be locked. So, the reliable way in and out is through the secret entrance. Are you asking me to steal from a shop? Goodness! It's not as if I'm asking you to rob Gringotts. Honeydukes is more than enough, and I only need a few. It's a sweets ingredient. They won't be missed, trust me. I'll see what I can do, Gareth. Fair enough. You shall be the first one to taste my newest brew if you can be of help. Perhaps I can convince a meat to help me with my potions homework. Get my aunt to loosen her reins a bit. I'll need to get those dried billywigs things for Gareth if he's to finish his latest concoction. Revelio! A one-eyed witch statue shouldn't be too hard to find.
Revelio. This looks like the right statue. Now, what was the password? Rebellion. Descendium. Goodness, who knew this was all down here? A lift must be how I get down. Looks broken though. Repair her. That seems to have done the trick. Lumos. This castle will never cease to surprise me. Incendio. I'm trapped. How am I supposed to get out of here? I'm going to have to get past this. Levioso! Lumos, repair all. Levioso. <sighs> Incendio. One more to go and I'll make it across. 
Levioso. Repairo. Levioso. Something is getting in the way of that platform. Revelio. That did the trick. This must be the way out. I need to find a way to open that gate. Incendio! Something smells sweet. Must be close to Honeydukes. Hogsmeade, here I come. Honey jukes. I can smell the chocolate. Now, where would I... Stings for Gareth. Revelio. I have the dried billywig stings. Now back to Gareth. I can only imagine how his new recipe is going to turn out.
Revelio. Rebellion. Hello, Gareth. I have those dried billywigs things. You got them? Incredible. Happy to help. Here you go. This is brilliant. Can't wait to get started. Thank you again. I'll let you know when I brewed my first batch of fizzing whiz beer. Charlotte Charles is dying. Nothing's as clever as playing with fire. Incendio. Lumos. <laughs> Revelio. Lumos. Rebellion.
Revelio. Incendio. Revelio. She's always showing off about her puff scheme grooming. Revelio. Handy resource indeed, your field guide. Here's a welcome treat. Delicious. Rebellion. Revelio. Revelio. Here's a welcome treat. Delicious. Revelio.
You can't imagine how inconvenient. Revelio. Who do you think will fall from their broom first? Everybody grab a broom and we shall get started! Mr. Clopton, your attention please. Sorry, Madam Kagawa. Everyone, please welcome a new student to our flying class. Welcome. Hello. Hello. The goal of today is to remind all of you how to maneuver on a broomstick safely. As broom flight is, first and foremost, a means of transportation. This, I fear, some of you have forgotten. Diving, rolling, and loop-the-loops will not be taught or in fact tolerated in this class. We'll leave that to professional Quidditch players, like the Toyohashi Tengu. Hey. Not a fan, I take it? Now, let's see how well everyone kept up with their practice over the summer holidays. For those who need a refresher, step up to your broom, say up firmly and clearly, then kick your leg over and rest your weight on the seat. Up! Thank you. Now, your turn. Up! Up! Up, you stupid ratty school broom! Up! One leg over, so there's a leg on each side. None of that side saddle nonsense. A gust of wind will throw you right off. And if you hear my whistle while you're in flight, ground yourself at once. Good. Now. For your first lesson, fly through each ring in the courtyard. Do take care. The brooms are school ah. property. Ah. I, I want them returned the in one this. piece. Yes, good. And lean. Well done. Now that you're acclimatized to your broom, let's see how well you manage with a more advanced exercise, shall we? This 
This next set of rings will take you around the grounds for more of a challenge. What a view! <laughs> Hello! Nice day for a flight! Ha! Good. I've got this. Oh, the old boathouse. Wish you could have experienced crossing the lake as the first year. likes to make an appearance once in a while. I watched you fly through those rings. You seem to handle yourself on that dusty school broom well enough. I'd imagine you're ready for something a bit more challenging. But I'm getting ahead of myself. We met in the common room. I'm Everett Clockton. So, care to join me for a bit of high-flying fun? <sighs> Can't say no to that. What did you have in mind? A bit of a detour, so to speak. Follow me. The tour is about to begin. Follow closely now. Right now, we're flying over the Transfiguration Courtyard. <laughs> Lovely as ever. Let's hope the Headmaster isn't having tea by the window today. Nice to get above it all, isn't it? Ahead of the gardens. The Hufflepuff common room windows just peek out. Bit claustrophobic for my taste. How is Everett flying so quickly? Here's something handy to know. Lean forward for a burst of speed. Helpful if you need to escape a tricky situation. <laughs> now that's more like it. You sure you're not part Hippogriff? There's the famous bridge. Think of all the magic holding it up. I mean, look at it. And the Owlery. That's a bit of solid architecture, isn't it? Flying tips and a jaunt around Hogwarts. This is quite the tall Everett. Have you two been? Oh, hello, Professor. We were trying to get a bit of extra practice in. Hefty points will be taken from each of you for not following my instructions. Mr. Clopton, I am disappointed in you. You're in this class because you're still because you're still not showing yourself, or frankly, your broom the proper respect. But, Professor. Enough. Class is finished for the day. As for you, you do well to use better judgment in the future. Chin up. That was some rather good flying. Sorry about that business with Kagawa, but you have to admit those views were worth it. It was worth losing a few house points for that detour. You seem at home on a broom. 
Bet if you had a fancy model, you could fly laps around Imelda. She's Kagawa's favorite. I could show her a thing or two if I had my own broom. Hate having to return the school broom after class. Perhaps I have to purchase a broom, then. If you can, you should. Wish I could. I recommend visiting Albie Weeks at Spintwitch's in Hogsmeade. He's always looking to test new models. I'll keep an eye out for you in the sky. I've not forgotten about our library venture. How did you fare? If you're keen for some illicit spell practice, meet me outside the Defense Against the Dark Arts classroom. I know a discreet place near there. If Black hadn't cancelled it, we wouldn't be looking for the blasted thing Come in the on. first place. Where are you? Rebellious. Saying it wrong. Rebellious. Rebellious. Much better. Oh, shut up. Wait. Accio. <laughs> He's ruined my entire school year. I hope he's happy. Sometimes it seems all roads lead to Hogsmeade. Point of toilet. Ah, oh, new face. Wonderful. Hello, Mr. Weeks, is it? Albie Weeks at your service. Welcome to Spin Witches. Apologies if you came by before and weren't able to come in. Shop's been closed since trade routes were disrupted. I had to travel as far as London to meet with my supplier. And I've only just returned, thankfully with inventory. I presume you're in the market for a new broom? Got a few rare yew weavers available, ember dash, silver arrows, wind wisps too. No matter what broom you choose, you'll be pleased. They're all exceptional, both in quality and performance. You said disrupted trade routes caused you to close, Spint Witches. Terrible it's been. Trade routes reported as unusable. Evidently, criminals were overtaking roads, threatening hamlets. I can fly safely almost anywhere, but you try flying with an inventory of brooms on your back. No easy feat. Right then, back to work. If a particular broom takes your fancy, just let me know. Do you mind sharing more about your brooms? I have a passion for them. Every detail of every model. Take wind wisps, well known for their quality ash handles. Yew weavers are rare because some fear flying them, likely to do with the Yew one's darker reputation. Then you add the Ember Dash, known for its handsome appearance. Working with brooms every day makes me practically giddy. It's one of many reasons I cherish running this shop. Sounds quite the array of brooms. I'll have a look around. Thank you. What are we looking for today? That item is of the highest quality. That item is of the highest quality. You'll be thrilled with that broom, I promise you. Nice doing business with you.
thanks for stopping by. I hope to... Whilst nearly any broom will certainly be a step up from the practice brooms in Kagawa's class, they all have their limitations. You seem to be a flyer who might be interested in, say, some enhancements? Go on. Ha! Knew I was right about you. I think you'll be quite happy with the performance of any broom at lower altitudes. But you may notice that speed consistency tends to falter as you rise. I believe I can remedy this issue. I have some ideas for enchantments, upgrades, if you will, that will improve the performance of any broom you fly. What I need is someone to conduct a broom flight and report back to me so I can perfect the upgrades. As it happens, another Hogwarts student, Imelda Reyes, is using abandoned broom courses for time trials. Clever girl. An ideal situation for collecting flight statistics. If you were to compete for the best time and succeed, then report back to me with how your broom behaved, I could complete work on my first upgrade. What say? How long have you had a passion for brooms? Since the moment I saw my first Quidditch match. Seeing flyers manoeuvre the way they do. Oh, some people continue to have their doubts about me and my ideas. I hope that won't dissuade you from helping. I know I'm onto something. Why do you need me to report to you on this broom flight? I did try to get Imelda to help, but she has some flying habits and quirks that made her difficult to collaborate with. I need a flyer with no bad habits and the knack for flying. Your classmate Everett said you're a natural on a broom. He's forever in here studying the newest models, almost as passionate about brooms as I am. If your rumoured talent for flying can help you beat Imelda's times, then having you assess the broom will be invaluable. Sounds as if you took Kagawa's class. I did, but my focus on the technical elements of brooms rather than the art of flying drove her mad. She thinks it fitting I run spint witches now. I don't reckon either of us ever pictured me batting away bludgers for the cannons or Puddlemere United. And I find a certain satisfaction in winning over the naysayers who think I may be too young to run this shop. With your help, I can continue proving myself the most knowledgeable purveyor of wizarding sporting goods around. That sounds intriguing. I'll see what I can do. Thank you. It'll be worth your while, if I'm right. The new upgrade ought to enhance brooms in every regard. And I can give you a special price. The time trial should be a bit of fun too. Go to the Quidditch pitch and Imelda Reyes will sort you out. Once you've beaten Imelda's time, be sure to let me know. Revelio. I can't help but admire Mr. Weeks's enthusiasm. Revelio. Come on in. Healing potions of a speciality here, should you need any. What can I do for you today? A wise decision. Thank you. I hope to see you again. Farewell for now.
What can I do for you today? A wise decision. Thank you. I hope to see you again. Farewell for now. I'm simply saying I thought the display a little drab. Great. Oh, I wouldn't say drab. There is so much colour one can bring to an assembly of cold water. Good morning. This is why I mentioned in passing that the top part wasn't entirely. Does it get any more cosy than Hogsmeade? <laughs> 